This is the Jacqueline Martian podcast, and I hate intros, so here we go. Go! To be some things, things that you'll come to learn about me in the next few days. I, I am never going to financially recover from this. Why I'm too afraid to ask. When they say 2% milk, I don't know what the other 98% is. Hello, welcome back to the podcast. So today we are going to talk about creative boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, fiance, codependent, dog, cat relationships. Um, I'd like to start off with this with today is May 26, 2020. And I've been dating my significant otter, one could say, for about a year and a half now. Super cool. Um, but I'd also like to say that I'm really highly skilled in gift giving just in general. I don't know why. I just have this great ability to like listen to what people are saying. And then here's a hit. Here's the first tip. Write down what they're what they say they want in your phone, even if it's like their favorite meal at Carl's Jr. Logan's is number 13. I don't even know what it is, but I know it's number 13 because I wrote it in my phone. Um, so by doing that, I'm able to do gifts really well. Um, maybe because I really like getting really good gifts. I remember growing up, I got a lot of bad gifts. Um, and you're always like, oh my God, thanks. Like, not about that. So here's some good gifts that you can do. This is just stuff I've done. Um, a lot of it doesn't involve money. Some of it does. Who cares? Let's talk about it. So when we first got together, we had our first Christmas together. And we were only together for like maybe six weeks, two months at that point. And so I did that like classic like Etsy, like the five cents thing. A, he didn't ever get that before. So genius, thankfully. Um, but it's like just really easy to do because it's kind of like creative. But it's also like you can find that stuff on the internet. So I'm not going to dive into it. It's called the five cents present basket, the end. But the things I want to talk about is what I did for it. So... Like, this is my, like, kind of, not schedule, but, like, my formula. That's what it is. My formula for good gift giving. So, every good gift has, like, three, like, tiers. So, the first one is really thoughtful, and then the second one's useful, and then the third one's creative. And you can kind of, like, put the useful one in either of those, or the creative one in either one of those categories. Um, and so, for example, so... The thoughtful one is something that he would never get himself. And so this could be something like, what I did was I got on my backpacking sleeping bag. And so, um, cause we've gone backpacking before. Hey, one time we forgot his sleeping bag, so that was hilarious. Um, but just like going with him is like, hey, this means like you and I are gonna go backpacking more. Like, because now I got you this. Um, the second one was some moisturizer. And this one's kind of like the useful one, but this is also like I was listening really well because he always say like he'd wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I need to moisturize. Um, or he'd just like say it kind of like in a funny way. He'd be like, oh, I just forgot to moisturize this morning. That's why I'm off or something like that. And so I got him some like man moisturizer that he uses and it smells delicious or not delicious. You know what I mean? Um, and then the third one is creative. So the time he was in his fraternity and it's always a tradition to like get paddles, but it just wasn't a tradition like in his chapter. And so like I wanted to bring that back for him. And so I use this company called Greek Gear, kind of on and off hit with Greek Gear. Some of their products are great. Sometimes they mess up. It's kind of fast, but like, I don't know. I've only worked with them twice. One time I was really pissed at this paddle and the other time I got something else. Um, so with the paddle, it was like he was a house manager. And so I got that written on it and like the house he's in, chapter he's in, and then like his name. And then like on the back, I asked his roommate, and this is where like the creative part comes in, is I got all the members to sign it or at least like fill up the back. And so I like talked to him about it and was like, hey, I'm getting Logan this paddle. Like it just came in, like I'm going to take him to dinner tonight. I was wondering if you could take this paddle down to you know, dinner downstairs and get as many people as you can to sign this. Um, he said that was like his favorite present ever. So there's my equation for you. Thoughtful, useful, creative. Use those three and uh, you won't fail. Um, okay, so something else I did this last Valentine's Day. I've always wanted to go on a scavenger hunt. I love scavenger hunts. I just think I'm so smart. And Logan, love of my life, he just got off like an eight hour shift and like was not in the mood for it. Like just wasn't in the headspace. So he was really confused when he found the first note. And it took like him like twice as long as it took than me to put them down um but like I wrote like all the places like we had special moments like our favorite tea shop where we had our first date when we met um like a dance class we took together and like 
try to make the notes as obvious as I could. Um, still took him a little while, but it's okay. Um, but like I, the thing was like when he got to like my house and he like found the bag, um, like with his name on it. It also had like a shirt inside, so I think that's a really cool thing on scavenger hunts. Like here's a present off the bat. And then I was gonna do like make it more like he'd have to go to a store and ask for something and like I pre-bought him something. So I did that once for Dutch, like I pre-bought him a coffee. And then he changed the order to a hot cocoa because he didn't wanna stay up. But little do you know, I had something later planned why he needed coffee. I'll talk about that later. And so like he went to a tea shop and then like, and I went to the Dollar Tree and I got all these like fake roses and like taped them there. He said he couldn't find the first one, but we found it like two days later, like it was still there. So that's a funny story. Um, but anyways, he got to it and like he got to like like a special place for us and like I was there wearing like a red dress and heels and like it was like surprise happy Valentine's Day and he was like wow that was so amazing fun and then like in the scavenger hunt thing like I don't know if I had words bolded or was like the first word of everything and then it spelled out Drake Bell. Funny thing about Logan he's like an avid Drake Drake and Bell Drake Bell. Drake and Josh fan and so that's like another thing I'm listening to is like he loved Drake and Josh as the kid and so kind of like as a joke like fun experience kind of thing got Drake Bell tickets Drake Bell tickets were like four dollars not actually but like you know Drake Bell wasn't that great um in Eugene and so like an hour away and so right afterwards I was like okay do a drink the coffee because we're going to a concert right now and so he was like what and I was like yeah we're driving to a concert right now so we went and went from Corvallis down to Eugene which is like an hour away and um went to a Drake Bell ticket so it's not only like surprise it's like double surprise we're doing something extra fun so that's another thing with like gift giving is like don't let it just be one surprise like get there and then have another surprise to do um Another thing for his birthday, I got him a custom wallet. He, like, you get this on Etsy. They're, like, 25, 30 bucks. You can find them pretty cheap. Um, and you can get, like, a custom note written in it. And, like, I printed off a picture, picture of us and then put it inside the wallet. And then, like, I wrote him a note and then, like, hit it inside the wallet so someday, like, he'd open it up and then see it again. So the goal with, like, the gift giving is, like, it keeps, keeps home giving, you know. Um, and then I was also in the wallet. And like opened it up and there's a piece of paper and then it was a trip to Bend, which is like Central Oregon for us. Really like special place for both of us, like hiking and camping and sunshine and happy good times. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to go on the trip and then I took my sister, but that's another story. Um, okay, here's like one that doesn't cost any money. Um, so he went firefighting over the summer while well, he missed the Bend trip, obviously. And, um, and um, I dropped him off at his fire station, whatever. And from there, like I went back home and he was gonna be gone for like a week or three, we had no idea. And because of this, um, I didn't know he was gonna come back, but I did know that he was gonna beat me back to his house before like, I got there. So because of that, I went around his house and found a bunch, just like a piece of paper, like just ripped up a piece of papers and then um, took tape and I just wrote like reasons why I love you. I just put them all around his room. It was super easy to do. Um, probably took like 30 minutes to do, but it's like, A, I'm already missing him. So like this is another way I can like show my love even though he's not there. So it's like both ways it works out. And then put it around his room. So then when, you know, he showed up, A, the room was clean, which is like service, good love language. And um, you can see that I like put effort into it and like all the reasons I love you, like can't wait to see you soon. So that's an easy free one. Um, Oh, also from that, so I got him a gift. So he came back from firefighting, like I had something like ready for him. A, it was something I could work on when he was gone and I was missing him. So that's like good for me because like I'm a daily love kind of person. And so like if I can't show it, I get angry. Not really, but um, so I made this like piece of wood, which is also this is just like a skill I got. Got me, gave myself whatever that I go to a construction site. You can pick up like a two by four that you find on the ground. Go find some um, sandpaper. You can buy really, really cheap and sand it down so it's not like hard. Or like if you lay it on a table, it doesn't scratch. Make sure there's no nails in it. And then um, just get some wood stain. Stain it as dark as you like. Don't stain it all, whatever. And then you go to um, like a Staples or like Office Depot kind of vibe and you can get these pens. I think they're like four bucks but if you go right before school starts Sharpie usually has a deal that's like 25 cents every Sharpie no matter what so stock up on these. Um, they're just like little shaky like paint whatever pens something like that. And um, then I print off like a piece of paper, like a piece of paper, and I put it up to my computer screen and I put like the computer screen, I make it like Google Paint, 
sketch, Google Docs, Paint, Ink, whatever, and then write the word that I really like, that I want to write, and then sketch it on the piece of paper, and then take that piece of paper and put it on the wood, and then you get a pen, and then you carve into the wood, viciously. And then you take the paper off and you can feel the intent and you can also see it. You can take your phone flashlight and put it on its side and you can see like the shadow better. And then you can do calligraphy if you have horrible handwriting like me. Um, so one side I put, I put I completely love you because that's like one of our phrases. And then I put, I can't remember if I put like acacia, fraternity or like they're saying something like men, men of action. That's what it was, men of action. So he could like put the piece of wood in his room and it's not like, super girly boyfriend girl you know girl, girlfriend kind of vibes so you can have other people over and it's like men of action so cool but then like if it's like this time you can like flip it over and be like oh, i love you so really it's a gift for me and him works out really well um okay next thing well so this is in no specific order just what i remembered them by um another thing i got him was he wanted a guitar and he like wanted acoustic guitar, so I always looked out for one. Couldn't afford one that was like normal, college kind of student, kind of broke. So I didn't want to spend like my entire anniversary budget just getting him a guitar. So I went to Craigslist and I found one secondhand um, that was like basically brand new. Uh, the person like had it in their garage forever and I got a case with it. And like, it's not bad getting something second handed as long as it like looks new, smells new, feels new. I also didn't really know anything about guitars. So I was like, if this sucks, whatever. Um, it's a thought that counts. Um, and then I got us like these matching bracelet things, which is like another like one of us presents. So like we call them our powers. You put them on, you have extra powers. Um, they're like 15 bucks on Etsy. That's really just like thoughtful gift, especially when you have to do like long distance sometimes. Um, and then we booked a room at um, the beach for our anniversary and I booked it. I just looked for it for a long time, but I wanted it to be a surprise for him. And we're like on like the water. Um, on the Oregon coast and it was just like wonderful and we made a pact that we're gonna try and get that room every anniversary just so like it's kind of like special um and then I also made him that one year video which I'll link at some point um and I just took little video clips of him every time I knew like I loved him or thought he was just being silly and just like kind of himself and I wanted just to capture that because like the first year to, you're with someone's like when you get to know them in like such a different way when you go from like strangers to friends to more than friends um, and so I'm just glad that I, that I can keep forever. Um, okay, another thing. So his graduation, he was graduating in December this last year. And obviously, like, he wasn't graduating at normal time. Everyone else was. But I wanted to, like, make him feel accomplished. And so, uh, again, I asked his roommate. And I was like, hey, he's going to go take his final at 10, I think. He's probably going to be back around 1130. So I'm going to come over. Is that okay? Like, I decorate the room, like, orange and black. Halloween just happened, so Dollar Tree had hella black and orange balloons. Shout out to Dollar Tree. And I just got some balloons and some tape and got him an ice and got his diploma or his fake diploma at the time. And um, I got him, like, some presents, just, like, some adult clothes. Got him an alumni shirt. Just was, like, thinking, like, outside the box. Like, here's a surprise event, even if it's just you and I here. Like, let's throw a party, um, which I think he really, really loved. Um... They're just like easy things to do. We just like write letters to each other a lot, leave each other like little love notes. Anytime like I would leave his room, like to go to the class for the day, like leave him a little note in his laptop um, that he'd find studying later. Um, oh, another thing is I got him like a glass Coke bottle, cost like a dollar or two at like the Super Hit, which is like just a store around the block. And um, either find some like candy or like some flowers I like find on the road and then I would just take the time when he was at work and just like walk to his house or his, his car that was parked um at where he was working and just leave it on his windshield is if I was leaving town for some reason or going out I always ask the person like hey can I leave a note on Logan's car it's like two minutes this way can you just like drive over here just because you know so I was thinking about him and like want, want to make him feel special um another thing I did once we like we were first starting to date is I had some red lights, like Christmas lights that my mom like wasn't using anymore. And so just like when he comes home from work or came over, like just having those red lights, I'm gonna be like, let's have a movie night. Christmas lights go a long way. So really invest in those, especially after Christmas, buy those up. Um, oh, a study night surprise. Um, right before he graduated, he was like really stressed about some tests. And he was like, I gotta spend a lot of time doing this. And so I went and got him all his favorite snacks. Um, I took his car, cause I didn't have a car and got him some muffins from Winco and went to go get him boba from his favorite um, like boba tea shop that closed, so sad. And um, he and I have a 
joke about some like nuts, like mixed nuts. And so I got him some of those and like called him like, hey, I'm outside, like got you a present. Um, and then another thing I did was like, sometimes like a skill you have, I have um, a skill to like do poetry, spoken word, podcasting, obviously. And um, just like wrote him a poem and did that video editing thing and spent a night doing that. Cause sometimes like they do need a night out with their boys or whatever and everyone needs those. Um, but if you have the energy and you have the love for someone, like it's super easy to do. So I made a little poem thing I can link somewhere here. Um, and then just like sent it to him. I was like, hey, I made you this. He's like, what the heck? Like you put in a lot of effort randomly for no reason. I was like, exactly. Because that's how love is real. Love is love because love is in action. So, um, and then we did a photo shoot one time, had a friend who's really good at photography, shout out to Allison and, and Selena, both of them, honestly, and just would take photos of us for free or trade for some Venmo money or something. Um, but anyways, there's a lot of things you can do for a special someone. Here's some ideas of things I've done. I think I've done a lot more, but I can't honestly remember them all. So this is also for me to document that and be like, wow, you really love this boy. Um, don't forget to put that in action. So that's all I got for this podcast. Uh, I got to keep podcasting. I get to five episodes, uh, before the end of next week. So love you all. Goodbye.